Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. This is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to evaluate the wave propagation across the account labor beam in a short period of time. So this is the example we we have to simulate. Uh, it's a steel account labor beam which has one meter length and a cross section is 0.2 meter by 0.2 meter. Uh, it has uh, restrained in the all uh, in all surface in the normal axis and but in the end it is fixed so the loading is uh, like this uh, which is a similar uh, uh, non-harmonic uh, periodic uh, loading in the zero step which we apply this load for example to the one this one and then we uh, take it uh, 0, 0.0 389 to here and then uh, in the end of the that period of time we bring it to the zero so then we will see uh, we will uh, see the response of that loading in the beam so we jump the uh, abacus so already have modeled and we're gonna make make it a new one it's called pot so it's called beam uh, we can use uh, solid elements and taking the approximate size one meter so the, I'm using meter Pascal and second so I put uh, draw a rectangular and then I can um, measure this one and this one is uh, zero point it should be 0 0.2 and this one should be 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 and I'm gonna give one meter the port is created we're gonna apply the uh, mat material properties material is steel giving the steel so we have to create dynamic analysis so we need to define the density so the density is 8000 7 thousand eight hundred kilonewton per cubic meter and the, the elasticity we not consider plastic just 207 e9 and the position ratio is 0 0.3 okay and we're creating one section it's called a beam section solid elements homogeneous and this assign this to the element to the beam and we finished we go to assembly and import this to assembly to zero, zero and we don't need anything else we go to that step and we're creating the time steps so we're using explicit the step time is because we want to see the wave and it's 0 0.04 second so quite a short period of time and we do not uh, need to change anything else and okay and here in the story output or field output we request give us at least uh, 20 steps so during that period short of you can give me 20 this is going to be 12 and we don't need to change this one so interaction is no need here we go to the loading and we create a boundary condition first fixed boundary condition in the end of the here one of displacement i can use symmetric in the initial i'm going to select this surface and it's fixed boundary condition now each uh, each surface should be restrained uh, in normal axis so I'm select here I'm gonna displacement I'm select here so the first top and the bottom in the u2 which is in the y normal and the second one is going to be the same this one and this surface to the normal x u1 now we apply the uh, boundary condition we want to apply the load so the load is in the step one as a pressure now selecting this surface so we give one e5 which is 10,000 uh, megapascal uh, and here is the amplitude we're going to create the amplitude I have already created the amplitude here so this is the amplitude which is in the zero we have amplitude one applying all the load 
and the second this step time is here also we are applying that that load and then it comes to this step to so drop say, uh, to zero so now we're selecting these two copy and we putting here so okay and selecting that and play to do this one now we finish the loading we can go to the mesh and we first define that it's independent we can come to the part and selecting selecting the explicit and giving a proper mesh so the mesh should be 0.2 that will give a good result and now we're gonna go to mesh it so we can go to the job and create the job let's go to be with propagation submit so it take a while to finish you can monitor it so the analysis uh, automatically completed and we called completed we're gonna go to the result and in the result here you can see it's the last step uh, which is uh, the uh, uh, stress concentration is in this point if I go to the uh, previous one you can see uh, in each step of time that pressure moved from one side to the other side so if I go to uh, create a rotation you can see here first it here and then go to the end and then return back now uh, we want to create uh, the stress graph across this beam and see how this uh, wave is propagated and how effect to the structure so we can go to the here tool and create a pad okay comes to the pad and create a pad and I have already one I have one pad I'm gonna go to create called uh, point list and I can uh, define the first point is uh, looks like uh, here you can give here or middle because the pressure is in entire of this element is equal so you can uh, determine the coordinate of each nodes so the first one is B0 in the uh, Y is uh, B 0.1 and the x is in the z is uh, 0.1 so it's actually here almost here and now I can go to the um, after and again I can take it uh, 0 and then again 0.1 and then I give 1 so that's the end which is this point so uh, I'm gonna okay I saved one part and now here uh, in the output I can create output from here so in the previous was part one when a part two is here and I'm click here the check including intersection between this part as well now we also can give in a, a uniform spacing between them as well so you also can give the true distance in the x direction or z direction so now you can select the step in we are in a step one i'm gonna plot and you can see the curve of the stress is especially in the time of uh, this one is this amount of stress you also can go to the step here and uh, select in the in the step three and apply okay and i'm gonna plot and it's come to here so like this you can go back again and you can see the in the last in the last step is like this uh, we also can uh, see the displacement and the velocity uh, so mostly the velocity is also there and I'm gonna uh, go to here and uh, go to here and uh, continue and 
okay plot uh, we can uh, actually in the field output here and you can come to field output and you can uh, select which variable you want to see and I'm gonna see that uh, velocity is a magnitude so I'm gonna apply okay and it's called plot so this is the velocity in that uh, period of time uh, if I go to back to change the steps so so this is here the velocity so you, like this you can uh, go again and field output you can change to displacement and you can go to here apply and plot so this is the displacement in that uh, in that time so this is the end of the tutorial if you uh, have any question please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you see you next time